Hey guys, it's Dave, and welcome to Dave's Retro Tech Dungeon. Today we're going to be taking a look at a older turntable, a Kenwood uh, KD3055, which I uh, picked up at an antique store, and it had a couple issues with it, and we'll be going over how I fixed those uh, in this video. Now, some, some basic information about this turntable was that I believe it was manufactured, uh, it was made in Japan uh, between, I believe, 1977 and 1981. I think. Uh, it could be a little off by those years. Um, but it has uh, two speeds, uh, 33 and 45, and it's an automatic. Um, by the way, if I get any information wrong in this video, I apologize. I'm newer to turntables, so there's that. And also, um, it has what some people like to refer to as farble, uh, but fake marble. So if you're wondering what that is at any time, it looks like marble, but it is not marble. Marble. Marvel. Um, it is fake. It's made to look like that, although this works to its advantage. I'm sure they did this on purpose. It's a very, very heavy machine. Um, I, I haven't gotten a weight on it, but uh, I would suspect it's at least 10 to 15 pounds, and it's uh, quite heavy for just a turntable base, basically. Anyway, I will be jumping in and how I fixed up the small little issues it had. Now, the first thing that was wrong with this, that is to be expected with such an old machine, it's over basically 40 years old, is the belt broke. Um, actually 30, but uh, the belt the belts on these things are almost always broken, and if they're not broken, they're at the point where they don't really spin uh, the platter correctly anyway, so you really should replace them anyway, even if they aren't broken. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's a fairly simple procedure, you take off the plate and then you uh, put the new belt around the cylinder thing in the middle. The uh, After that you use the little indentation on the platter to move the belt um, over and put it on the spinny head and the speed changer thingy, it's technical terms. And um, so yeah, that was that, that was honestly the easiest part about this thing was changing the belt, although there was some um, problems with that. When I purchased, by the way, before I go on, I should mention that all the links uh, to the sellers who I bought these things off of will be in the description below. The um, I bought two different sets of belts, not on purpose, not, I didn't want to. The first set of belts, which said they were KD3055, um, never showed up, so I asked for a refund, they got lost in mail or something. Then I bought another pair, um, and that was the one that you're seeing right now. That was the one I put on there. Um, but that one actually didn't work. It didn't, it was slightly too tight, and when you turned it on, it would chug along until you kind of forced it, and then it would start spinning after that. Now, um, I, at the time, was incredibly frustrated. I thought maybe there was some electrical issue or problem with the motor, but it it turned out to be a small belt. And what, what do you know it, the belts that I reported missing and the seller reported missing, and had, they had called the post office and said they'd lost them. If you had refunded me, they just showed up. So that was uh, really great because those belts ended up working. They were slightly bigger than the other ones. So yes, that was a very good job. Anyway, moving on to the actual difficult part of this whole thing was the uh, needle cart. I should mention that when you normally get these older machines, you're gonna have to go through and basically dig out the pieces of the old belt, because it's most likely kind of exploded and gone everywhere possible. Um, so this is, this is all the stuff I collected. This doesn't even, to me, appear to be a whole belt. I bet there's more in there, but I could not find any more, even after uh, searching for quite some time in that little box. It just wasn't happening. Anyway, moving on to the cart. Uh, here we have a video on screen now. Um, let me explain what you're seeing. So on the leftmost side, those are replacement cart wires. And uh, the silver cart is the original cart that came with it, and the black one is the one I'm currently using. The um, 
Obviously the thing on the utmost right is the cartridge and the needle. And the needle's been replaced with a Audio Technica needle. Um, so the problem was was that person who I didn't I don't unfortunately I didn't get a picture of it, but when I got this, the cartridge was in there in the silver thing, but it was um, all the all the wires were there too, but they had been ripped off the soldering of the little things that plug into the posts. As you can see, you can see properly on the end of the cartridge and in the beginning of the silver cart, you've got these little uh, totems, sticks, and um, these wires kind of are supposed to slide into them. So my initial train of thought was to simply replace the wires, and this turned out to be much more difficult than it should be. Um, I went through two different sets of wires, and both of them did the same thing. That, that being, um, got them, they looked fine, and then realized that the contact points are the things that you're supposed to slide over these little brass pipes um, were actually triangle shaped and they weren't rounded and this isn't as far as I can tell because of any um, because of, like there's a different standard that use triangle heads it's because they want you to bend them into a circle and I went back and did the Amazon things and they in fact say they're even rounded and they are not. Um, so I will not be including those in the description below. I did find some that were pretty much guaranteed to be rounded. They have pictures of them, but they are stupid expensive. Um, so I didn't, I didn't bother going that route again, because I, I had actually broken several of these new wires attempting to bend them into a circular shape using super small wires and exacto blades, and they're incredibly fragile. So that was just an absolute no-go. So the next thing to do was basically get a cart, a new cart with the wires installed already. I was looking for a silver one. I couldn't find a silver one for this model. So I just went ahead and bought that one. This one worked out absolutely swimmingly. Um, and yes, the ends are rounded. Um, obviously now you got to mount the uh, caddy into the cart and then screw it into place and then pretty much just put it on the record player. It is that simple. Now, of course, you can tune it, and I probably will tend spend some time tuning it in the future. It's simply where you move the needle until it's, you found the sweet spot, basically. Um, but at the moment, it is working absolutely fine. And um, it could be a sweet spot already, who knows? Um, it, yeah, it it's, sounds perfect, so. I'm not going to make too much of a deal out of that. Anyway, moving on to the demonstration bit. Of life and death, of peace or war. Indeed, in this nuclear age, the power of possible annihilation of all life on Earth. The president must live with that knowledge as he wrestles with the countless other matters which call for his decision. As Harry Truman said of his office, the buck stops here. Presidents Kennedy and Eisenhower have stated it in different terms. It's much easier to make the speeches than it is to finally make the judgments. What you just heard there was from the uh, record Six Presidents Speak, uh, a profile of the presidency. And uh, I, I had to pick something that was copyright free. Also, I apologize for the um, quality of the speakers. I don't, I, I'm, I'm poor. I just had what I was, I already had, and those bows work swimmingly. I think they, you, they, I'm using them now when this thing has been moved into my room, into my setup, and it works great. Um, so yeah, moving on, I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit. Um, the other parts that could be done with this are, um, the shell could be buffed, the, the plastic shell that covers the record area, uh, and if this video is popular, I will make a video on how you do that. It is a process that is not fun. 
um, in the least, and is kind of hard to do without messing it up. So, yeah, uh, if, if you want to see a video on that, let me know. I can totally show you. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you enjoy seeing this kind of content and you want to see more, please let me know. This is obviously uh, somewhat of an experimental video for my channel. Um, don't normally do videos on record players and records. Anyway, I uh, appreciate for, you all for watching and I hope you have a nice day.